Okay, for today's project, we'll be installing, extend the shower, add more shower space. Because the space at Lantern One is a little snug. This project, I've got my caulking gun, silicone waterproof indoor outdoor caulk, my Bosch 12 volt driver drill, and my screw box with screws and driver bits in it. We got this extended shower off of Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. I'll show you the Lantern One shower space. Um, for July 4th, we're really busy and normally use our camp showers. Um, I do use mine occasionally when it's really busy, especially with, with the social distance and stuff. And the fact that stuff's starting to move around again a little bit more. I'm gonna make myself a little bit more room and one of these in the other camper it was already in there so, all right so, pretty simple setup here welcome back everyone inside the shower here at lantern one um, i've got good head clearance my vent fan is over here um, i'm running on a wide angle lens hopefully this comes through but what i run into is space wise literally like the shower is about shoulder width for me seems to be working really well. I'm just gonna fill these in. It's a bathroom, it's a moist environment, so I don't wanna plug any of my holes. It looks like my camera shut off, but I've got some coated deck screws that I'm using and uh, put one side in. I'm just gonna eyeball the other and find a stud right here and reattach this in a moment. And I'm going to hit all this with a coat of silicone here. Um, just based on the old, what the old one was. Looking for a stud. So we're going to have to, I'm just going to go right there, I think. This one actually may be a smidge lower. I hope that's we are just inside of there. It's not going to be what I would call super duper solid with the bottom bottom piece, but I think I can, I'll be screwing into a solid wood top here, so it should theoretically hold up. I don't think as long as nobody grabs a hold of this and pulls it out of the wall, which never would happen in an RV, right? Just plain old Martin mar up the ceiling. I need an extension. Be where I need to go. I think it will. All right. Bingo. All right. It's, I'm not super super happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna silicone this in and then put the rest of it together. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna. Sharp curtain out of the way. Like, well, I need to have more space, it's going to go almost to the light. So that's going to be gangbusters. All right, we'll come back. I'm going to hang shower curtain and we'll check it out. Move this out. Move this out. Oh, it's exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is life changing. Gives one a little elbow room in here to to move around. I'll do a half in here. So, uh, so before I was literally right here with the shower curtain and now it's out here and I can move my elbows around um, and not have uh, wet body sticking to the curtain when you're moving around trying to um, get yourself clean in here. All right the other trick I did is I have uh, some never wet and I can dig that out but I sprayed the walls in here down because these are just the paneling that are supposed to be just fine and waterproof as the uh, as a shower stall they've cocked it they did miss a couple spots I went back and 
and filled that in. Um, um, so what I did is I put Rust-Oleum Never Wet. It says auto interior. I figured it would work fine for this. Upholstery floor mats and carpet. This is like upholstery floor mats and carpet. Um, you spray down the walls. Let it sit for a few hours and basically um, water pretty, kind of pretty much it doesn't run off great because there's texture underneath here but it beads up and runs down and that's something i put in my shower here um and just to protect it another step of protection plus i have the ever-present rv shower squeegee and that kind of my combo but this uh shower curtain one is i'll be able to see better in there and secondly and now it's out of the way and if i do have anything wet i can hang it it'll drip directly into my palatial tub so folks caribou dave here remember do what you can where you are with what you have amazon probably about 35 dollars for the extendable extenda shower system well it's got a little fudge room so if one side's not quite even or slightly higher than the other it's still still gonna work but that'll make a big difference showering in the rv plus it just looks better with the curtain out of the way caribou dave the adventure dog who's sleeping out in the grass. Stay safe. Um, catch you later.